you're going to hear an audio tape of Grandma Yola Banker. There she is right there with their car. And I'm going to show you photos of the family. Um, there's Grandpa Bob getting ice out of some 24-hour available ice machine thing. And uh, the next photo is going to be of my mom, Yolanda Lani, in Switzerland, I think. Looks like it. Um, and here's Grandma Yola talking about um, her Waldensian heritage, her ancestry, um, about her people. Tuscany. Ecumere, Rome, Adefia, Sicily, Bethel, Club. So look at this picture there. <laughs> Peter hanging down. That's cute. <laughs> 107 to 19, 117 to 19. Agape Conference Center, Historic Valleys. 1950s, upper left, 1970s. Well, you know, I didn't notice this before, but a lot of the buildings are made out of stone. A lot of these churches well, in the I think valleys. there's, because there's so many um, rivers and lots of water, They yeah, that produces stones, you know, I think. Water does produce stones. So, like, there's a lot of... And up in the mountain rivers and up in the mountains. You know, up in the mountains. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good use of the land, actually. Uh, 120 to 23. Home school for children. Does that mean they're school schooled at home? I don't know. Huh. Uh, upper left and clockwise. Ogar Nimio. Colony Uruguay. Uruguay. Um, 1980s. Centro Noche Palermo, 1960s. Instituto Ferretti, Florence, 1980s, and Casa Materna, Naples, 1980s. <laughs> Look at all the kids playing uh, Ray Around the Rosie or whatever that thing is there. <laughs> that smile's cute. Uh, 124 to 125. Hospitals at Torre Pelici, Historical Valleys, and Naples, 1980. 126 to 27. So uh, this is a photo of Grandma Yola's parents, Ida Rivoire Martinet and Dante Martina. And uh, I think, yeah, it was taken at 9863 in the pool room, uh, the corner on the uh, west side of the house. And you can see they're playing pool there. They have uh, the pool cues uh, in standing up there in the pool cue area <laughs> and then the pool balls on the shelf there and uh, boy I mean Ida really took pride in looking good and fashionable when she was young she had no money to you know fix herself up at all but uh when she got older and she really did a good job of looking fantastic. I guess this would probably be the 1970s. That's a pool chair right there. And Dante. I liked how they were holding hands there. And then uh, this next photo, it's of, uh, it was taken at 98.35, where they're little, there's like a little uh, covered area, like a little uh, covered parking lot kind of thing, just covered area. And uh, you can see the swing right there on to the left of Ida. It has uh, some blue designs on it. And, Grandma Yola and her mom, Ida, would sit on the swing with me when I was a little toddler and feed me fresh plums from the plum tree and laugh and laugh as it, all the plum juice dripped down my chin. I guess they enjoyed swinging me on that swing, and I probably enjoyed it too. And um, Dante had pretty long legs. Some, some men are tall, but they have a long torso, and with Dante, 
he had long legs, so it kind of made him look even a little bit taller than he really was, probably. And I think in the background of this picture, kind of behind Grandpa Bob there, it's a, uh, a map of the United States, but somehow it might have been related to his uh, uh, aviation, you know, to him flying in the airplane. Uh, maybe he had to have certain maps of where the airports were or something. There's my mom, Yolanda Lani, on the right, and Grandma Yola on the left. I like how she has her hair there. It's kind of uh, way up high. Pretty little bow and necklace. She looks like she was pretty thin right then. I guess that would be one of the thinnest that she ever was, would be my guess. Let's see if there's anything else on this tape right here. Home school for youth and hostel, Florence, and Waldenshin Hostel in Rome. Oh, nice. Uh, 128 to 130 wood. Homes for the aging, clockwise from upper left, Valdencia, Val Valdencia, Uruguay, 1980, historical valleys, Blue Vieto. So she said Uruguay. So I think some of the uh, Waldensians fled Italy and went to South America. Uh, it sounds like some of them might have gone to Uruguay. I know some Italians from, I think, our area, northwest Italy, went to Argentina. I think that was kind of a big place that they went, um, maybe if they couldn't get into the, to the United States or something like that. It's my mom, Yolanda Lani. Almost looks like she's sitting on the floor, maybe. Boy, I can't imagine her doing that now. She's so particular. Um, she got some card or something. This might be, uh, she had uh, a friend, uh, Trini, from the uh, Philippines or something. So maybe the uh, wallpaper, maybe it was at their house. That card kind of looks like it, a special like that. It's a nice picture of Grandma Yola and her parents, 9835, by the little covered carport area thing. Ooh, she has a little flower, I think, on her blouse there. Looks pretty skinny there. I'm not used to seeing Grandma Yola so skinny. Some of these photos, she looks pretty skinny. <laughs> She always had a really thin wrist. Um, and nice long fingers. Maybe good for the piano and violin. Kind of makes you look more graceful when you have nice long fingers like that. And here's a photo of my mom, Yolanda Lani. I'm guessing maybe uh, late high school, early college, maybe late, late high school would be my guess. You know, she was a premature baby, had to stay in the hospital pretty long. Um, and there was a time there, they weren't sure if she was going to make it, you know, if she could just hang on overnight. Uh, chances were she was going to make it after that, but she was born quite a bit early, I think. And here's a good picture of my mom, Yolanda. Uh, Lani Banker Coats at some pharmacy. I, I showed her this picture, asked her which pharmacy it was, but it didn't really seem familiar. She couldn't place it of which pharmacy it was, but 
There she is with her, what is that, a mortar and pestle or something, and a bottle of pills, or something like that. And she worked really hard to get through pharmacy school. It was very hard for her. Went to PCC first for a couple years to do some basic courses and then transferred to USC where she uh, got her PharmD, a, a pharmacy, a doctor, doctorate, doctors of pharmacy degree. That's my mom, Yolanda Lani, with her Camaro uh, 1967. Camaro, the first year it came out, um, Grandma Yola and Grandpa Bob bought that car for her and surprised her with it when she passed the um, State Board of Pharmacy tests. She had to take one here in California and then also one in Nevada to be able to teach in other, uh, to be able to uh, do pharmacy in other states too. She liked that car. She saw commercials on the uh, television about there was a yellow one, yellow Camaro on television, and she thought, wow, that's such a snazzy car, and always commented about it. So they knew she liked it and bought her a white one.